Coming up today on Houston Life, we are cheering on the Strohs as they get ready to take on the Boston Red Sox. We are live at the Juice Box ahead of all the action. Ooh, then it's time for us to spin for one lucky viewer to win one of the fabulous prizes on our Houston Life prize wheel. Could you be our next $1,000 winner? Stay tuned to find out. Plus, original Scream Queen and Hollywood A-lister Jamie Lee Curtis is filling the spooky details about her role in the shocking new chapter of the Halloween movie franchise, Halloween Kills. And we are capping off Hispanic Heritage Month with local singer and songwriter Nick Gaetan, who is treating us to a live performance in studio. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Houston Life on this Friday, October 15th, 2021. I'm Derek Short. We're trying to keep it together right now, Lauren. I know. I'm Lauren Kelly, of course, in for Courtney, who is on assignment at the Juice Box today. But, Derek, why are you giggling so hard? Because Tex keeps <laughs> growling at me. He has this bully stick right over here. And as I lean over to try to grab it, I have never seen you, wait, him growl. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's literally <laughs> just sitting here growling at me. You cannot Taxi, come between. I'm not going to take it from you. A pup I and promise. their bully stick. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> But he sure does look cute in his new Astro shirt. He sure does. He sure does. <laughs> Texie, it's great to hang out with you today. <laughs> you just used to life. stay right over there. Well, listen, a lot of people are decked out in their Stroh's gear. And I know a lot of y'all have been sending us your photos. We're going to show some of them later on. But I want to show off the t-shirts we're wearing. Okay, who Funny, gets the reference? Say it. You're, you're like, like really, really bonita. bonita. Oh, thank you. So you agree. You think you're like really pretty. Okay, it's a Mean Girls reference, right? <laughs> so in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, uh, which officially ends today, October 15th, we are highlighting Mira Della. This is a local business, local entrepreneur. Her name is Gabriella. She has such an incredible story that the, uh, the shop was actually named after her grandmother, okay. Adela. And she has, she's the co-founder of Boss Babes HTX. Oh. Yeah, and she's done, check her out on Instagram and check out her website because it's colorful. It'll make you smile. She well, you have Mundle to tell State. everybody about her actual brick and mortar store. Oh, and she finally has a brick and mortar too. So down near uh, Original Nymphas on yeah. Navigation Boulevard, uh, it's 2500 Navigation Boulevard. So when you, the Esplanade that's right in the middle yeah. of the road, they have all these containers Look at out that. There. That is so cool. And that's her shop. So look for it. It's bright yellow. You can't miss it. I love that. I would just go to walk into the store besides the adorable stuff. I love the shirt so, so much. It's same. It's There's, so she has one too that says, uh, take me to the Panaderia, okay. which is like the bakery the yeah. sweet shop so check her out online uh, we're glad to highlight our local businesses I do have notes that I would like to actually <laughs> grab and read I'm just afraid that I am going to get <laughs> growled at or bitten all right well tonight is the big night when our Houston Astros will take on the Boston Red Sox in ALCS game one of course at Minute Maid Park and that's where we find Courtney this afternoon ahead of the game it is hot hey. out there Courtney wait where are you wait, what yes I'm here, I'm here, but listen, I had to partake in the last day of Hispanic Heritage Month, right? Oh. I mean, do you guys like my hat? <laughs> it's perfect. It's a perfect fiesta. I never miss an opportunity to wear a good hat, okay? And I feel like game one is the way to bring it. And plus, you guys were talking about local t-shirts. This is State Line Designs. She's the OG of dope t-shirts, okay? Elise, uh, and it, she's also with HTX Boss Babes. It's such a great, uh, we love highlight lighting shop small shop local so I'm so glad you guys are wearing your t-shirts today who's excited for game one y'all we are and of course here at KPRC 2 we've got Hitch set up here we're on Hamilton just outside of right field entrance here Hitch you guys know what this is this is where we take our television studio out into the community we are able to broadcast live the rest of the news teams will be here I just saw Keith Garvin in his orange it is orange out here you guys so the four o'clock team they're going to be here as well. It's so much fun to get out in the community. What I love about the energy right now, coming down
around here, everybody's like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Everybody's got their Astros gear on. They're, they definitely have a perk in their step. Everything that's happening here, of course, Street Fest starts at 4 o'clock. The gates will open up here at Minute Maid Park. If you're one of the lucky ones that got a ticket to tonight's game, I'm going to tell you where I'm going to be watching my game with a spicy margarita in my living room and my hat. That's what's going to happen for me and the rest of my family. But also, you guys, did you hear that singing the national anthem? Of course, an HL friend, Sarah Grace. She, of course, was on The Voice. She's going to be singing the national anthem. Josh Reddick is going to be throwing out the first pitch. Who doesn't love a little Josh Reddick, right? He is such, we love him, the history that surrounds him with the Astros. It's going to be great to see him on the bump throwing out that first pitch. Also, guys, coming up, up a little bit later on in the show. I am going to be sitting down with Vanessa Richardson. She's going to talk all things that we need to know about game one. Plus, she's highlighting another local business that designed some t-shirts that all the Astro players are like, hey, I want to wear that. And they're starting to wear this t-shirt design, which is super cool. So we're going to talk to them, have that story, and we're also going to have a little fun here, right? You guys, what do you think? I need to know what you think about my sombrero. I need to see Fancy? more of those, what those do you think? hips moving, Courtney. I think that the sombrero requires you to move your hips more. Just perfect. Well, it's also I very know. functional, Courtney, like because it. think of all the things you're going to be able to store up <laughs> you there. Put your, your margarita. Snacks, your spicy margarita. You are ready my margarita. for Your Bregman game. salsa. Yeah, put it right Breggy on bomb. there. Put the Breggy bomb right on top. Breggy bomb salsa. Yes. Uh, and also right now, I'm being protected from these harmful UVA rays. Okay, because it's hot. <laughs> No rays are going to get anywhere near you. <laughs> we love seeing you out there, Courtney. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Houston is, of course, a sea of orange and blue today as fans get ready to cheer on the Stros. I'm a little bit nervous. It makes me nervous right here. Yeah. I get anxiety. So, of course, we asked you to show us what you guys have, and you didn't disappoint. You never do. Oh, and check oh. out these cuties first up. So, Grayson and Ellie. They are growing Aww. up. Those look familiar. I think uh, that's Grayson, the son of our producer, Heather. So, so Such a cute. cute. Very and nice. we've got some cute pet pics as well. Chelsea Walden Gutierrez sent in a photo of her dog wearing this Altuve jersey. Just sitting there, nice, minding his business. And Melissa Ives sent this photo of her Aww. cats cuddling in an Astros blanket. That's adorable, <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> so cute. And Kathy Twyford, Twyford doesn't seem to be taking any chances. She posted this photo with the caption, my Cajun witch put Putting a voodoo hex on the Red Sox. Ooh, Ooh wow. Yikes. Well, you know, and pets in photos, too. It is so super cute. Little Texie here. <laughs> I think he thinks, oh, yeah, he's actually growling at me a little bit it's while I'm petting him. It's because that stick is still. He does not want he you to I'm take it. It's okay, buddy. No. Oh, can you? <laughs> I can hear him. Can you see him? <laughs> can you see him? Look at his nose him? raising. Texie, oh, my gosh. Okay. <gasps> Maybe you should. Oh, <laughs> it's show a, it Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, continue sharing. I've never your seen this side of him. <laughs> Tex, remember that day I found you at the shelter? <gasps> oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, continue sharing your sweet photos of your pets on our Facebook page, and we'll be showing lots more later on in the show. Just keep them coming. I've never seen him so possessive. Of it. Look at him. He never makes He's a sound. Like a mannequin. <laughs> okay, well, speaking of the Astros, let's talk about tickets. Okay. Those tickets, they are in hot demand right now. Well, you may have heard we are giving away our KPRC to insider tickets. Ooh. So if you're an insider, you have a chance to win tickets to Saturday night's game. This is a really big deal, Lauren. Oh, it's the hottest ticket in town. If you have not signed up to be an insider just yet, it's a really good reason to do it right now. It's totally free, and you can sign up by visiting the website. It's our website, clicktohouston.com slash insider, or even easier, just scan the QR code on the top right-hand corner of your screen. That's a really there. good giveaway. It is. Yeah, yeah. really good. All right. Best of luck to y'all. Well, still to come, she is a country star with Texas Roots, and along with her new album, she's releasing a brand new fragrance. Lauren, I think it might smell a little something like East Texas. Okay, There's okay, okay. Plus, Jamie Lee Curtis is reprising her role in the Halloween franchise, what she says it would like to reunite with Michael Myers for the next installment of the classic series of films. Houston Life will be back in just two minutes.
right, Miranda Lambert, we know her, we love her. There's, you know, her personal life has been in the news a lot over the of past course. few years because she used to be married to Blake Shelton, right? Right, right. But she has moved on and she's doing well. She's got a brand new single. It's called If I Was a Cowboy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I like yeah. that. And I love her tunes. Well, so it's going to drop on Monday, so you can't hear it just yet. It's going to hit country radio on Monday. Okay. And if you didn't know, she grew up in East Texas. She's never forgotten about her East Texas roots. I think she lives down in Nashville now. Okay. She's so. very, very busy, right? Yeah. So she also has a brand new perfume. Oh. A new fragrance. I have my That's notes here. That's all for everyone to purchase, right? Yes, okay. yes. You'll, that'll be available for purchase okay. later this month, I okay. believe. It's called Idle Wind Eau de Parfum by Miranda Lambert. Okay. It combines her favorite scents, notes of Georgia sweet peach blossoms. Okay. And musky golden sandalwood that stirs memories of the piney woods of East Texas. I think that's really sweet. I like that. I don't know if I would put anything musky into a perfume because I don't want to smell musky in any way. Well, musk is just sort of a nasty word, right? Yeah. But, but I think yeah. it can, musk, I mean, there are a lot of people who wear musk as like a, it has a... <laughs> As be what? Very careful what I say. <laughs> it's a it's a very nostalgic scent for a lot of people. Like growing up, I knew a lot of folks who had like a musky cologne or fragrance. Not like a musky uh, personal body odor scent. Musky. I, I think of just um, outdoors ish when uh, I hear the word musk. Right, and I think maybe there are different interpretations. Right. Uh, people think like, oh, a musky body smell might not be that great, right. but like you think of like musk as a lot of people would say like, oh, I've got to put on my musk. Right? <laughs> Instead not, of the cologne. Never heard anybody, never oh. heard any dudes say that they oh, need to really? put on musk. I bet you anything, some of our viewers out there, you grew up applying musk. Cologne. <laughs> many, many sprays of it. It'd be interesting to smell, though. That brings us to our question of the day. As always, we love hearing from you. If you had your own fragrance, hmm. what would the scent notes be? That is a oh. really good question. And many of you have already sp responded on our Facebook pages. Mary, she writes in, probably chocolate and <laughs> coke but seriously maybe gardenia and rose oh. my favorites i agree with all of those mary i love those chocolate and diet coke <laughs> very nice jessica writes in can you capture awkwardness and introvert in a sense oh Aww. jessica kathy says coffee beans red wine and a hint of earthy tequila yes <laughs> Sounds like, yes. sounds like a good combination right that there. That is a good one. I like Miranda Lambert's choice of like the Georgia peach blossoms. Right, because you know that's going to be sweet. It's, right? it's a little sweet. Yeah. You know what fragrance I really, really love in the springtime in Houston when the jasmine vines bloom? Okay. Have I, you smelled that fragrance? Smelled no. really, it's sort of like an orange blossom fragrance. I, re I really love that. Okay. But, but I'm with the tequila comment as well. Okay. Ah. I like, the, I like the Diet Coke one and chocolate. Can't you just use real tequila and yeah, like... Just rub it on you? No, because if somebody in the, you know, law enforcement comes by, you probably don't want to smell like tequila all Oh, time, you're right. right? That open yeah. container is just my cologne, I promise. <laughs> all right, we'll have more of your comments from our Facebook page later on in today's show. Why don't we turn now to Halloween, which is okay. only a few weeks away. Two weeks, right, from Sunday. So, you know the original Halloween film as part of the series? So, it debuted in the late 1970s. 1970s. More than 40 years ago. Yep. I know, hard to believe. So now, more than 40 years and a dozen films in that Halloween franchise, there is a brand new film, and you can go see it starting today. I have already seen it in this latest film titled Halloween Kills, Hollywood A-lister Jamie Lee Curtis. She returns as Laurie Strode, who joins forces with other Michael Myers survivors, set out to hunt him down once and for all. Now, check this out. I got to sit down and chat with the Hollywood A-lister all about reprising her infamous role. We killed Michael. My grandmother set the fire. No one told you. She told me what? Michael Myers is alive. Jamie, the Scream Queen, Lee Curtis. I cannot even contain <laughs> myself right now. I am in utter shock that I get to speak with you today. It's an honor. Thank you so much. The honor's mine, and we're in our dark holes, you and I well, both. Well, I did that. I did that for you. I thought you would feel very comfortable in my spooky room. I thought it would set the ambiance quite nicely. It did. Thank you. <laughs> I love your origin black just in time for Halloween. Halloween Kills, you got to tell our audience all about it. Halloween Kills is an immediate sequel to the 2018 movie where Laurie Strode, her daughter and granddaughter, um, have 
secretly conspired to set a trap for Michael Myers, who Laurie knew was coming back for her. So what happens, of course, in the 2021 movie is that Laurie and her daughter and granddaughter have survived, but so have the rest of the town. The rest of the town were also victimized, were also terrorized by Michael Myers. They all come together um, and decide to fight Michael as a group, as a mob. Jamie, do you ever kind of get in that mindset where you've played her for so long and do you ever think what would Lori do just in a normal situation? Well, you know, what would Lori do has become really a banner. You hit it literally on the nail, right on the head. Because what would Lori do is, because we've been doing it for 43 years, she is a, a, a conduit for all of us to think through scary situations, to try to figure out creative ways out. She's sort of like an emotional MacGyver. You know, she has figured out how to survive. I mean, we can't wait to scream along with you. Halloween Kills in theaters, October 15th. Halloween Kills also stars Judy Greer, who I love. Bob of course, Judy Will Greer. Patton, Anthony Michael Hall, and it hits theaters today. For more on my interview, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. But we were just talking off camera, and she looks just phenomenal across all four decades of filming this role. Well, and her style, too. I love the glasses. She also defies a lot of these traditional rules that people, you know, sort of like project onto women. Mm -hmm. She's got short hair. It's gray hair. Like, she yeah. is killing it and her career literally is still she's <laughs> killing it <laughs> <laughs> sorry her career is going strong and I love that you just so casually like oh hey Jamie Lee Curtis no biggie we're hey, Jamie, old friends here's a question for you if you had to have a celebrity like to to take care of you in a horror situation a uh, mine would for sure be Jamie Lee who would oh it. Okay. Right. well I mean if anyone knows how to get out of a bad situation yeah. it would be her 12 films later yeah. and this franchise is still going strong and wasn't it the film that was released in 2018 that ended up being like the highest grossing yes. Halloween film of all yes. time broke all records and with a female lead so that's really really cool mm -hmm. okay well if you love scary movies today's the big day it opens today right today. it's in theaters right now okay. and on Peacock yeah very nice tell Jamie I say hi next I will. time we <laughs> <laughs> All right, when we come back, if you haven't been sleeping well, it might be time to replace that old mattress. We're highlighting the local company that's helping you get a good night's sleep. And we know you'll be sleeping tight with extra money in your pocket. Still ahead, we are spinning for one lucky insider who could win $1,000 on the Houston Life prize wheel. That and so much more when Houston Life returns. October is, of course, known to be a spooky month, and perhaps nothing is scarier than paying a lot to buy the wrong mattress that's not helping you sleep through the night. Well, the experts at Texas Mattress Makers can help you stay away from any tricks, and they promise they can help you sleep better on their local made-to-order mattresses. You've all, we've always talked about how you've been in business for more than 40 years. This is a family company, and I feel like congratulations are in order because you're a grandfather now. Yes, I am. Beautiful little baby girl, Luke. Luke. I love it. Beautiful. Came out, all stretched out. You know, you usually get wrinkly and stuff like that. This girl is beautiful. And Not because she's mine, because she's beautiful. She's beautiful, and we're all excited she's here. There is no question, you are the expert in Houston. Really, I would say one of the leading experts in the United States when it comes to knowing how to build a mattress that will help people sleep better. Mm -hmm. We have a manufacturing facilities here. There is something that no one else in Houston has. Why are we the best at what we do? Number one, we understand every component that's in the mattress. But more importantly than that, we're not interested in selling mattresses. We know that when a consumer walks into one of our five stores, they need a mattress. It's not about selling you the most expensive. It's not about taking advantage of your lack of knowledge. It's about treating you with respect and supplying you the product that you need that fits you best for a good night's sleep. 
We all know what a bad night's sleep feels like, and we all know how much more energy we have when we've had a good night's sleep. When people visit the showroom here on Navigation, this is one of five locations. This right. is the factory location. But now, regardless of where you live in Houston, there will be a Texas Mattress Makers location close to you. Every employee in this showroom, they are highly trained. They know exactly what goes into each mattress and how to walk a customer through the process. Right. And they're not highly trained by all those things that you just said because I gave them a booklet and you read and regurgitate this stuff every day. They're highly trained because they worked out there. And they touched, that's correct, they touched every component. They understand what makes what. And they understand why those components are different. A lot of people get really frustrated with the typical way of shopping for a mattress. Nobody wants to shop for a mattress. Everyone has got the same story from a different place. I went to a mattress store, the salespeople didn't know they were pushing me to buy the most expensive mattress. Of course. And there's a lot of truth to that. There's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. What about lead time? Because I know right now there are supply issues, no matter if you're looking to buy a car, if you're looking to build a home. I mean, there are all these things that seem to be getting bogged down. That's not the case with your business. Why not? We're the only place that we buy the raw materials, we put everything together, and then we sell it to the consumer. As a manufacturer, you always, your number one worry is raw materials. When am I gonna get them? How am I gonna get it? What's the quantity, quality, and so on and so forth. So last year when I saw that everybody is closing in COVID, right, one of our secrets is number one, everything we buy is American. Everything we buy is American. And guess what happened when everybody closed, because everything we buy is made in the United States, we supported our manufacturers in the United States, they supported us. We were at the forefront of their list, not somewhere on the bottom. One, two, we have over 140,000 square feet of space here of manufacturing. So we filled it with raw materials that we need. We do not have a backlog. You will never be sold something, and next Friday somebody's gonna call you and say, Derek, I'm sorry, we can't deliver it for the next two weeks. And that just doesn't happen with us. So you'll get your mattress in a very short amount of time. That mattress is made to order using locally sourced materials, supporting other local companies. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be sleeping better and paying less. That's correct. Sounds I good can, to me. I, I can't say it any better than you just did. So this Halloween, make sure when you're trick-or-treating, you're not tricked by the other mattress folks, but you get a treat here at Texas Mattress Makers. How about that? That's perfect. Okay. Gone. Done. Oh, man. Well, and congratulations on your granddaughter once again, you've all. Texas Mattress Makers does have a special offer for Houston Life viewers. Right now, you can get up to 25% off plus free delivery on select mattresses. Just visit TexasMattressMakers.com or call 713-341-6252. All right, what do you say we check back in with Courtney Zavala hanging out down at Minute Maid Park ahead of tonight's game? Have you found uh, some tortillas and some nachos yet? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've got Breggy Bomb salsa and chips that we're going to break yeah. into in just a few minutes. We are here at Wright Field, right on Hamilton. Who's ready to get this party started for game one? I know I am, and so is KPRC 2's sports, Vanessa Richardson. She's going to join me, breaking down all that we need to know for game one. Plus, she's going to introduce us to a t-shirt line that some of the Astros players have taken notice about. So we're going to get a check on that. Plus, what is coming up for the news at four, including we're going to take a look at this weather because the clouds are rolling in. We are ready to get the cooler temperatures in town. Houston Life, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Houston Life. Derek Shore here along with Lauren Kelly while Courtney hangs out downtown at the juice box. She fits right in there. I absolutely love the sombrero that she has on though. Yeah. But let's take a look at what you guys had to say about our question of the day. Earlier we asked if you had your own fragrance, what would be the scent notes oh. it was made of? All okay. right. So Lee writes in mint, lemon, Easter lily, jessamine, cedar, and rosemary. Clean, fresh, woody, and lightly floral 
floral, like a morning walk in the woods. <gasps> Lee, have you ever designed a perfume before? Oh, lovely. I like you just listed everything. That was so poetic. Yes. Beautiful, Lee. Amanda writes in pizza. I'd smell like pizza. <laughs> okay. Uh, very, very true. Oh, here we go. Yes. Deet, Deet. She writes, in reference to y'all's conversation about the musk cologne, back in the 70s, there was musk for men. See? I guess it's still around. Yes. <laughs> so that is, I mean, it almost became like musk was kind of synonymous with the word cologne. Okay, I'll have to go back and just take a look at it now because I'm going to have to take your word for it. It was a thing. I mean, instead of applying cologne, it was like, I, I need to apply my musk. Okay. <laughs> like a... It was a thing. It was a thing. But don't you just associate the word musk? I don't know if it's me coming from a house full of girls. Like, we just always associated the word musk with, like, ugh, musky. It's outdoorsy. It smells like recess. Yeah, I think maybe perhaps it's sometimes used in, like, a negative, negative way. Okay. Do you wear a, a fragrance every single day? I do. I rotate between Clinique Happy, which I've worn my entire life. I like that one. And a Kate Spade. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of it. But they both smell very light and fresh, so that's why my nose is very particular. Well, and you must do a little dainty spray. You know, some people really, oh, no, no, I really load it, it up. I, ba I bathe in it. Vanilla Fields, a hundred, a hundred of them, right? Okay, that is a that is a nice fragrance. Okay, thanks. Little dabble, do you? Okay. Okay. Why don't we check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what is coming up at four o'clock? Hi, everybody. Hey. You know, hey there. Spe speaking of a little dabble, do ya? Old Spice. If you have Whoa. brothers or if you ever rocked the Old Spice, just a little bit goes a long way. A I little tiny spice. bit. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Just I would a go tiny with, bit. I, I would go with puppy breath. Everybody loves puppy's breath. Oh. That is a good one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That that is very true. Yeah. Puppy hey. Puppy breath, baby breath. Those are all good. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Hey, hey, great to see you guys. Happy yeah. Friday. It is a great day for some postseason baseball. The clouds have moved in a little bit, but still. Yeah, because it's it's been very humid like really really humid up until about like literally out here two minutes ago because all of a sudden the clouds started coming in and Frank it felt it feels pleasant now because it's actually kind of cooled off and not as humid but we got some storms that out there though you do and they're on the way and you can see this is this these are our showers ahead of the front I'll show you where the front is in just a moment the, these showers are coming in with some lightning and so that's what you're feeling out there at Minute Maid Park let's go in a little tighter here this is the downtown area Minute Maid you can see that's where Keith is talking about but these showers down here between West University and NRG, that's dropping almost half an inch of rain in just 15 minutes. So that is some stout rain. So be careful. We could see some quick street flooding in spots. So far, no reports of any, but we're going to keep an eye. The good thing is this is moving pretty quickly, but it is dropping some pretty good rains as it moves through. Here's the front that we've been talking about all week. That has moved through Bryan College Station. The winds are starting to shift there, and the temperature has dropped down into the low 80s from the low 90s. So they've had a 10 degree drop in just the last hour. So that's what's on the way. That will be in Harris County about 5 36 o'clock, bringing showers again to downtown at 7 7 30, just as the first pitch gets going. And then it'll be down in Galveston as we go into the 9 9 30 hour. So 6 o'clock, the cold front is moving through downtown. That chance of rain is there now, but it will continue through 6. Once we get to 7, begins to move out. And then by 8 o'clock, what we'll notice more than anything is these very strong north winds. 15 to 20 miles an hour. The upside is we have a beautiful weekend in store, which we'll talk about at four o'clock. Yeah, we're very much looking forward to that fall front. Thank you. We've got plenty of Astros coverage coming your way, coming up in our four o'clock newscast. But first, there are some road closures that you need to know about. That does include closures before, during, and after the game. We'll show you the streets that you'll need to avoid during those times. Yeah, we've also learned, unfortunately, that starting pitcher Lance McCullers Jr. will not be on the roster for the ALCS against Boston. Sports director Randy McAvoy is going to join us with a look at how this impacts the Astros pitching rotation and what the team has to do to compensate. Also at four, we're talking about the Minute Maid Park and the retractable roof here. It's usually open on non-game days, but why is it mostly closed when the Astros are playing? We'll have the answer for you coming up at four o'clock. And of course, a lot of Astros coverage this evening for you guys. All right, guys, have fun out there. We'll see you at four o'clock. Well, of course, Keith and Christine are not the only folks live from Minute Maid today. No. We've seen Courtney having a lot of fun <laughs> down there, and she is now joined by a familiar KPRC2 face, ladies. 
Take it away, it's Vanessa. Yay. Okay, Derek, that is right. I know, and here's the thing. I couldn't fit you and the sombrero, so let's look at Vanessa, because she's, <laughs> it's so great to catch up with you, first yeah. of all. And I know everybody's talking about Lance McCullers, but let's focus on what we have yeah. for the lineup tonight. Here's the thing about this Astros team, and this is why fans can still feel confident. This lineup is so deep. When you look at Altuve, Bregman, Brantley, Alvarez, if they can get the bats going, they really have a shot at this, despite their very real pitching woes. I, that is that is part of the headline for sure. Yeah. But we are approaching game one. And of course, roof is closed because we need the noise. We yeah. need it to be loud. And we want everybody to wear orange. And here's the thing. We can take the series. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. And look, Lance McCullers Jr. being out is not ideal. And I think the guys are very realistic. And it didn't ever feel good, if that makes sense. Like, the Astros kept saying, we'll see. They ordered a second MRI. And so I think we kind of knew, but definitely not having him on the roster in the taxi squad instead is a big blow. It is a big blow. OK, let's talk about something else that you're working on a little bit later for yeah. next week. But this is a not, I love shopping small and yep. local. And this is a t-shirt company that some of the players really have taken eye on. It's amazing. Amazing. So it's a group of Astros fans and they, they love Houston sports. They're super passionate about it and they had an idea. Let's make some t-shirts and sure enough, it has caught on. We're going to show you pictures of some of the Astros players actually wearing these t-shirts. So Lance McCullers Jr. is one of them. He's been rocking the H-Town uh, versus everyone tank top. Carlos Correa has worn it several times as well. They made a t-shirt for Fran Valdez called the franchise uh, when he's on the mound and then for Kyle Stanek, peace, love and he so they're called Apollo Houston and they've made it clear they don't want to be barstool. They're not trying to be anything that they're not. They just love making t-shirts. They've been doing some videos as well and the players have really taken to it as you can see. I know and I think it's so cool because when the players take notice it's sort of legit right, right? like everybody wants one and I like the fact that they're you know they're not trying to do anything different. They're doing something passionate and when the tagline says something that people can kind of get behind everybody loves a good shirt and they're edgy too. They have some edgy shirts they that do. we can't show on TV, <laughs> but Astros fans really like them. So yeah, I'm excited to tell their story. That's going to be on Monday, uh, only on KPRC. I love that. And by the way, we're always talking about now the headlines for a holiday, right? Everybody's like, oh, it's on delay, major delay. Shop local. Right. It's right here. Yeah. There's no delay. And the t-shirts are made in Tomball, so it is all local. That is so awesome. Okay, Vanessa, girl, we made the right yeah. call. Alex, our okay. photographer, moved us to drier land as this cold front is moving in. It's great to see you. Yeah, you we're excited to see Astros in game one. And look at this, Derek and Lauren. Ooh. We now have our nachos ready to be served. <laughs> our breggy With our bombs. Breggy bomb salsa. There we go. Right. See? Corey is always purpose. prepared. You're always gonna get a, prepared. A, a, just a few more chips. <laughs> but but you're on the right track. It's looking good. We we're going to eat them. <laughs> they right. ate the rest of them for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney and Vanessa. Have fun out there. All right, ladies. Coming up, it is your turn to win big on the Houston Life Prize Wheel. From exclusive staycations to $1,000, you could be our next big winner. And as we head to break, let's check out some more Astros fan pride from our viewers. This next photo was sent in M Amanda Marie Heberling Aww. and her family. They are saying they are the Astros number one <laughs> fans. Aww. Looks like it's me. I love it. And even our four-legged friends are cheering on the team. Oh my God, look, it's like a little mini team. Here's a photo sent in by Lucy Brown of her three pups, Stella, Belladonna, Eddie Jackson, and Ruby Jubilee. You guys keep sending those fan photos in. Houston Life will be right back. That is so cute. Well, it is Friday, and you know what that means. It is time for our Houston Live Prize Wheel, where we spin for you to win some great prizes, like staycations at JW Marriott, Landry's gift cards, and even that $1,000. $1,000. bucks. Today, we are spinning for Joe Avalos, who is joining us live by Zoom from the Greenspoint area. Joe, welcome to Houston Life. Hey. You are ready for tonight's game. Hey. It's the Orange Day. Go Astros. Yes, right. Go Astros. <laughs> Let's go Astros. <laughs> What part of town are you checking in from? I know you said Greenspoint, but maybe Willowbrook area as well? Yeah, between uh, Greenspoint, Willowbrook area, right around the area. Okay, so here's the thing. Joe was just telling us during commercial break. He is a plumber, right, buddy? You're a plumber, so yes, you've sir. had a very busy 2021. You're supposed to be working right now. <gasps> so Derek, you promised. Hey. You promised. 
Derek, not to, to say quiet anything. About that. Actually, wait a minute. Today, what I meant to say was, today is your day off, and we are so glad right. you're I'm, spinning I'm the wheel. Win something. We will write you a note, Joe. That's for sure for joining us today. How about that? <laughs> okay. Hey, how heavy is that chain you have around your neck? Uh, it's it's good. It's heavy enough. <laughs> it's it's all right. enough. It is enough. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Well, Lauren Kelly, what do you say we do the honors Let's for Mr. It. Joe here? We're going to spin the wheel so you can win big, buddy. Spin that wheel. Uh, spin okay, that oh, wheel. Me? You go for oh, it. The pressure is on. All right. You, you all got right, this. You got on. this. All right. Okay. Big money, go. Joe. We're go. rooting for That's you. Right. Here go. we go. Let's go, Astros. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Give me something good. Oh, it looks oh. like we're going to be spinning again. That means it's all. Come on. Go. All right, I like that. Spinning it around the other way this I time. Like it. I like it. We've got uh, a staycation, some, some gift cards. Oh. We've got some. Oh, oh. you are just oh. short of the thousand dollars, but you have won yes. some Landry's gift cards, so you can have a nice night out and a nice meal. Maybe this weekend oh, to celebrate yeah. the Astros win. How about that? That sounds oh, yeah. good. Definitely. All right, Joe Avalos, enjoy your day off. Uh, wink, wink. And our team of producers <laughs> will be in touch to be to be sure you get your prize. All right, thank you. Y'all have a good day. Thanks, all right, Joe. Go, go Strohs. <laughs> and if you would like your chance to spin and win live on the show, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider Program. Yeah, it is free to join, and there will be great perks like discounts, giveaways, and so much more. Just head to clicktohouston.com slash insider or scan that QR code on the top of your screen for your chance to win big with the Houston Prize Wheel. All right, that was a lot of fun. Coming up on Houston Life, straight from Houston's southeast side, he is bringing his mix of Tejano country pop and rock rock artist Nick Gaetan joins us live for a musical performance. There he is. Yeah, as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what is coming up on entertainment tonight, including a Hollywood bromance rekindling with a new movie. Hey, Kevin. Lauren and Derek tonight on E.T. Adele drops new music, how her divorce inspired the song. Then our night out with Selma Blair, plus Ben Affleck and Matt Damon reveal set surprises from The Last Duel. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. But hold tight, Houston Life. We'll be right back. Hailing from Houston's southeast side, Nick Gaetan is a talented bassist who has toured overseas with artists like Billy Joe Shaver and Nikki Hill. He also writes and records his own music, influenced by his Mexican-American roots and the sounds he grew up listening to right here in H-Town. We're so glad to have Nick joining us today as we mark the end of Hispanic Heritage Month, October 15th. Welcome to Houston Life. Thanks, Derek. How you doing? It's so good to see you. It's good to see you. And your sound, I mean, it's always such a treat to, to watch you perform, to hear you perform. Your sound truly is a blend. What I just said, I mean, you are a product of your neighborhood and the sounds you, you were hearing growing up. Describe it to folks who are unfamiliar. Well, thank you. And, and uh, well, Southeast Houston is a big mix, you know, and we, we grew up with the sounds of Tejano music. We grew up with the sounds of country. Oh, gosh, rock and roll, everything that was on the radio and everything in between that we were influenced by, stuff our parents listened to when they're cleaning the house and whatnot, you know. This video that we're watching now, too, uh, and I know we're going to have you perform in a couple minutes. Sure. Talk about um, just performing during the time of COVID, because I know a, a number of artists, uh, you you found yourselves in a really weird place where gigs just sort of dried up. So how has it been, and how is it now? Well, it, it, what what it was, was was what we were used to the last, as long as we can remember, when we were in, as long as we've been in the business. Then COVID came, and we had to all get creative. So we all became, we, we started making videos, we started having our own things to broadcast and do live streams of going with the times just surviving well you look like a rock star here <laughs> i love uh again watching you perform so in 2007 from 2007 to 14 you actually had a band uh the umbrella man yes, right and right. cam franklin was involved in she this she sure was she sang some vo she sang vocals she's on my first album in 2009 so it's been a while and yeah cam's an old friend look at that and people now know cam is performing with the suffers right um you recorded first self-titled album in 2009 and bridges and bayous in 2012 mm -hmm. but you really have as your career has evolved 
You've also really gone all over the world. USA, Mexico, Canada, Europe, Australia, South America. Yes. I mean, you're kind of checking off the continents one by one. Big time. Uh, Nikki Hill, I, I toured with Nikki Hill on four continents and several countries. I went over this over, overseas with Billy Joe Shaver doing a Scandinavian part of Europe for a while and just kind of went everywhere else with him in the U.S. Well, we are, and wow, and this is Willie, Picks of Willie, right? Uh, there's per Willie, yeah. Performs on uh, Letterman together, is that right? We sure did. I was I was in Billy Joe Shaver's band at the time. It was 2015, and there we are. It's uh, uh, Willie Nelson and Billy Joe Shaver were both releasing albums at the time where they recorded the same song. Look at that. You've barely aged a day. Your beard's <laughs> maybe a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about some of the spots where people can watch you perform live, because again, uh, it's it's finally time we can, <laughs> we can hear you perform live on stage. Dia de los Muertos yes. in Magnolia park that's coming up and you're performing that is, there that is going to be really cool the los muertos in magnolia park is going to be at hidalgo park and um, we're going to perform we're, we're opening up the festival and it's an ongoing thing for years now that magnolia that they've been putting on in magnolia and we just can't wait that's going to be october 30th uh, uh yeah, just uh, two weeks from Two from weeks. Tomorrow. I can't believe it's finally here. My favorite part of the year. I know, mine too, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we're so glad to have you in studio. Uh, we're going to remind our viewers that if you would like to catch Nick live, he will be playing tomorrow, 8 p.m. at the Shady Acres Saloon in the Heights. Entrance is free. And don't forget the Dia de los Muertos Festival in Magnolia Park at the end of the month. If you would like more information or to connect with Nick, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Now your friend Robert Rodriguez will join you. Nick Gaetan performing Pick and Sides. Thank you. Right, here we go. <laughs>
coming up Monday on Houston Life. Tune in for a preview of some of the best movies you can look forward to at this year's Indian Film Festival of Houston. Plus, the magical shop in the Heights that is sure to cast a spell on you. We'll meet the enchanting owner behind Thorn and Moon Apothecary. That sounds cool. Yeah, you guys want to get a good check of our final viewers' photos who are ready for the Astros game. Oh, yeah. Sox tonight. Okay, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Let's say this photo was sent in by Tammy. It's of her family with the caption, Go Astros. Very nice. Aww. And Bonnie shared this photo of her family saying, of course, they are diehard Astros fans. Oh, I love all the photos. And look at this, Derek. Text right here. He's calmed down. He's so sweet now. Now that that little chew oh, toy is okay. away from him, he's like a totally different dog. But I'm still nervous he's going to bite my face off. I got you covered. All right. Thanks for joining us today, you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Sure. Love the song. Ghost Rose tonight. Have fun if you head down to Minute Maid. We will see you on Monday. But in the meantime, we're going to hand it on over to Chris and Lauren in Studio A.